Um, so, Clara Rosa, the homie, the family. The first time I saw her play was at a CloudX event in Pamela. And I kind of knew what to expect because the first time we met was in the studio, the CloudX studio in Bricks and Jam. And it was through one of our mutual friends. We never really met before that. She came up, she played me her mixes and we were just there, locked in for hours, just vibing to it. And I was like, yeah, I could, I could see how it works so perfectly, especially CloudX parties and events like that. And then, yeah, we went to Paris a couple months later um, we were in Pamela and I remember her starting off her set and I'm there just vibing out. And there's a couple of people on the dance floor and then yeah, you know how it goes, slowly over a couple of hours loads of people just came to the front. I was like Instagram live and the whole thing going crazy. I think even on a personal level, what made me think that I need to introduce her to the CloudX gang and also just, you know, kind of bring her in and have her close musically is that some of the remixes that she was playing and, and her beats were stuff that I grew up really loving. Like, there were some Party Next Door bits on there, some Weekend bits, and that Tens R&B pocket is actually what made me start making music. So I was instantly connected to it, even sonically. So I need to catch up with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, Talk to for me. a bit. Yeah. Because um, I think the last time we caught up was like, the last Cloud X Jam event. Yeah. But now I'm moving on to festival season. Yeah. And you know that um, it's been my first year into DJing. Yeah. And yeah, this is going to be like my first festival stage that I'm going to be going on, which is on Saturday. Clara Rose is a visionary because she brings a unique perspective that combines like her cultural heritage as a Filipino and a Londoner. And she brings a mentality which is just a good vibe, intelligent, um, and just inexhaustible when it comes to her energy uh, and her commitment to, to, to doing what she's doing, which all in all produces like fantastic music, art, and, and great DJ sets. I like hearing her spin, and I think other people will, so I'm down to support it. How do you feel about the fact that, because you've been playing at a lot of like, Club events, you've been yeah. playing at like a lot of like in stores and for brand events, etc. But like, mm -hmm. this is a big festival, and also it means mm -hmm. a lot to you because of like your heritage and exactly. like the, the, who you'll be sharing a stage with. Like, how, how does it feel? Exactly, and like that's that's the thing that you know about me. Like, ever since I came into CloudX, one of the first things that I told you guys was like, I want to represent my country, yeah, which yeah. is the Philippines here in London. Yeah. Um, and somehow do it and yeah, like yeah, the yeah. day is finally coming because you pointed it out like I've been playing at club events for Cloud yeah. X events for Fashion yeah. Week um, and like the probably the biggest crowd I played in front of was just about 400 and now yeah, we're moving yeah. on to a stage which is like 5,000 people 5,000 people? Yeah <laughs> That's, it's, it's exciting yeah. though No it's so, it's so exciting and I was like planning with the team about my visuals, what's going to play on the centre stage. Yeah. I'm opening the festival. Mm -hmm. But also I think Saturday, from what I understand, is that it's not necessarily just about one genre. It's actually about a culture and about exactly. um, how that culture has like internationalised. And so there's lots of different mm -hmm. artists mm -hmm. who actually probably fit into different genres, but all mm -hmm. actually have a similar heritage or a shared culture. So what do you think you're going to spin? Uh, the thing is, I think this is why this festival fits me so well, in the sense that, one, thank you, obviously, to them for yeah. appointing me as the resident DJ. I am the only DJ for the entire show. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> Are you playing in between acts as well? Yeah, so I'm playing okay, in between cool. acts as well. And the thing is, it works well with me because I kind of don't, def well, I don't let genres define what I play. I just yeah. play what sounds good, yeah, to me yeah. at least. Like, being a DJ, I'm the first listener. If it makes me feel good, makes me move, yeah. I'm gonna play that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. obviously, coming from the Philippines, yeah. I know what I heard growing up. And growing up here, I know what I heard growing up here as well. So I had my parents play their music. Yeah, yeah. I had what was going on on the radio, what my friends were listening to here in London, and I've just fused them both. So I think it's just gonna be my sound. 
Yeah. Is there one artist or, or, or one thing that you're like, damn, I, I, I would love yeah, to make that happen? exactly. Like two, two main artists that I would really want to work with are Mai Mai yeah. and Janine, just because we're kind of like new gen Philippines type of vibes. Mm. And I feel like if I can put a spin on their style, which is what I do anyway, yeah, like yeah. I would love to somewhat create something because yeah. I feel like history could be made. Who knows? No, it's amazing. Yeah. Inserting really quick. That was perfect, actually. So that we can get you to meet my mind and Janine. <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually meeting them? Sorry? That last phrase to the Okay. Camera. Um, it's going to be my biggest performance to this day. And yeah, it's my debut on the festival stages. It's going to be with one of X. Okay, <laughs> so Ayun, uh, we ended up uh, momentarily losing one of our uh, you know, one of one our really boxes important. of uh, equipment. Yeah, Man. one of the most most important. They said the box was missing, so we were like, oh, which box? So es essentially, the whole rig for like monitoring, stage monitoring, got lost just like that. Yesterday they were telling us that um, they couldn't find the replacement and then they were trying to contact all these different suppliers. But thankfully, this morning. Just yeah. like the sheep, what was lost has now been found. Right, <laughs> right. Finally, the hand up shop. But tonight, you know, what are each of you going to do to, to prepare for tomorrow? We want to treat our, our crew. Yeah, because no matter what happens tomorrow, I think the preparations that we've done, uh, especially our team, mm -hmm. it deserves like a, a celebration of sorts. Mm -hmm. So now that like we're a day away from the show, we're just going to have dinner with everyone in the team. And in preparation for tomorrow. And we have, I think we just also have to uh, you know, in these moments, trust the work we've put in beforehand. Mm -hmm. There's nothing we can do at this point to make it any better, yep. <laughs> except Today to get some good rest. Yeah. Yeah. As the famous saying in the Philippines goes, Finish or not finish, pass, pass your, your papers. papers. It is what it is. <laughs> the stage look. We're talking about the movies that we've watched yeah. that looks like this, exactly like the Rhapsody and Star is Born. I feel like I'm in a movie right now. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Can we do that? Yeah. It's up to you guys. Just, I mean, yeah. personally, Make yourself whatever. Yeah, whatever, it's up to you. It's up to you. I mean, I could, I'd literally be, because we're not going to hear anything, I'll be just yeah. giving a signal to the desk, which is probably not because I can't tell. That'll carve out 25 minutes there for you guys. Yeah. They, if anything, they just need a line check and they can do the levels out front. That's not good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What happened? So we can't do. Uh, our sound check today because we're running low on time. The noise permit only allows until 8. But that won't stop us from giving the best show ever tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. I'm already super nervous about this. Now I'm extra nervous. But it's sound check. 11 a.m. We can do this. Mm -hmm. 